Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Songs of Six. In the previous episode, we defeated the Rebel Menace that was trying to steal our shit. They're more like bandits than rebels. Uh, let's be honest here. Oh, I can see one of their corpses right now. Fantastic. Alright, that might be one of our corpses, actually. Their corpses go to the dumpsters. Their arrival showed a hole in our colony's pipe flow. We have no research going. We have no ability to produce tools or weapons. And uh, while well, these guys were like shitter losers, clearly in the future, we're going to be dealing with more well-equipped soldiers. We already have like renewable metal, so there's no reason we shouldn't have a full warehouse full of battle gear. That could even be a export for us, in theory. Though that would probably go to the hands of bandits who seek to slay us, but whatever. To that end, uh, I think we should begin getting our research underway, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Uh, to begin with, we might need to improve our wood cutting operations. We certainly have enough metal for it. You know what? I'm gonna let. <laughs> we need more people. I'm gonna let some people in, and I'm gonna quickly build some more farms, and then I will get back to you guys. There we go. Now that is what I'm talking about. That'll be enough for a good chunk of the pickoids to work. Also going to build a woodcutter zone. That's why I needed the more people. I'll build it over here. This is our woodcutting zone. I'm just not happy about the like irregularity that's going to be introduced. Unless I just, I don't know, do it like this, I guess. It's not very efficient space-wise, but whatever. Now, you know what? Sorry for those with OCD, but this is just going to have to be smaller. Out of that, or we try to get back here, which I think would be a giant pain in the ass. So, it's just going to be a tiny little eight man operation. Got 100% efficiency. It's a nice big old clear space for storage as well. Cool. Now I just need to let all these new odd jobbers build all this stuff. Then we're going to have basically 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22, 26 of the 30 pigmen just working on these farms. I also added two ginormous cotton farms, which will help solve our cotton issue. We're not going to be able to build them until summer rolls around, or until harvest comes. But that is fine. The area being cleared out will be good enough as well. Oh, looks like we have hit summer. And this is indeed time to get the cotton rolling. We neglected to do this last year. So, it'd be nice to get this out of the way this year. Just harvesting all the wild edibles nearby. When you have a surplus of food, it makes your duders happy. It's a nice simple job for the odd jobbers. I'll, I'll add a few more dudes as well, just to speed that along. Let's see our soldiers continue to work. <laughs> oh, wow, there's some 50-year-olds here? What the hell? Whatever, they know their craft better than I do. The 50-year-old man is the one who's the most fit for combat, then so be it. And our farms are rolling. 
slowly running out of wood as well. Don't know if it's because we're building stuff, though. Are we building any buildings? I don't think we're building any buildings. That's kind of disturbing. What's eating all our wood? Is it the charcoaler? I mean, this woodcutter alone just produced, like, 242 wood this year, I think, so there's no friggin' way that the charcoal is chewing through it all. Not sure what's going on with the wood situation. Oh, I'm gonna add some more humans. Oh, the fucking furniture mills. <laughs> yeah, wait, we actually do need more wood production. Never mind. Um, where am I going to put this shit? God, this is awful. Shouldn't have built so much of our industry on woodcutting. I guess... We could have a woodcuttery up here. Uh, that's probably good farming lands, though. Yeah, I guess this little chunk down here will do. I'll give, like, a... a three-space road to work with. Then, boom. We're consuming a lot of metal and stuff, but we should have still have a ton. Right, got 100% efficiency. Boom. 300 storage. Hopefully that will solve our wood problem. Maybe, hopefully, crossing fingers. We still have plenty of odd jobbers, so no need to let in a ton of people to, and overcompensate for everything. Once our wood supply gets stable, we can start our paper making operations. Which are the key to the knowledge production. As it stands, we don't have enough wood to build the buildings. We don't have enough stone to build the buildings either, so building building out of stone would be kind of tough. We really need to get a stone farm or a stone mine going at some point. I forget where. Ooh. Oh, four percent. So that's iron. I think it was over here that there's the stone. Yeah. It's not a really good stone deposit either. Coal. All this shit's on the edge of the map. This looks bright. Uh, no, it's just ore. Just very good deposits of ore and bad ones of clay. Uh, you can tell where a deposit is just by the like red square on the map. Oh, th these are actually really good stone deposits. Okay. I mean, that's on the edge of the map. It's a little bit spooky. That might be where we do it. We could also just import stone. Stone's got to be pretty friggin' cheap, import-wise. Like, let's see. 31, which is twice as much as clay. That's worthwhile. Worthwhile import, I would say. Might as well harvest some of this as well. I'm really not convinced that we solved our cotton problem either. So that's going to be something that we have to fix. Probably going to get another cotton farm up before I forget. Build it right here in this nice fertile zone.
Could build it all the way up to here. Yeah, there we go. I should have uh, some irrigation. It's got three workers. Should be fine. Run a little low on on jobbers. Okay, is the wood situation fixing itself? Eh, it looks like it's kind of fixing itself. Maybe? Nah, hmm? Maybe. That's a to be continued thing. We can chop some trees down in the interim period. Uh, I guess I'll put the paper maker in this little corner. We don't have the juice for a big one, but tiny one, we probably are able to support. I'm going to shrink it a little. There we go. Uh, because we were hidden inefficiency because it was too big. Can we put the auxiliary stations back here? Oh, we can. Amazing. That's kind of... It's pretty space efficient. I know I just said we, we should build a small one, but... I mean, with space efficiency like this. There we go. 27 workers. It's probably going to be good enough for a long time. We have the metal for it. We have the wood and furniture and everything else. So that'll be nice. Probably going to have to let even more people in. Which is what it is. Gonna build a road up to our wood farms. That's been an inefficiency that probably should have dealt with a while ago. No, now that I've set a block up here, we could probably put wood cuttery right here. The auxiliaries in the zone with the stone. There we go. Yeah, awesome. Looking good. I'll let 21 humans in. our worker organization about almost 50% farmers it's pretty nice that's the number I was shooting for build another fetchful farm put it right here and a fruit farm boom Another vegetable farm. Just to keep that ratio going. Do not want to fuck up our ratios. So we will have hardship. Uh, it's almost winter. I think I want to harvest a little bit more extra cotton. Uh, we, we don't need extra food. At this point, we're so, like, goaded on it. But the cotton, we're constantly running low on, so. That yeah, looks like everything that's nearby. Yep. Nope, there we go. Thought I was forgetting something. No, I just think we wait. 
If we do any expanding, it's gonna eat into our wood supplies too much, unless, I don't know, we build some rock buildings, which we could do. Might as well get a little surplus of rock to open that as an option for us. The stone farm, I think, is a little bit too risky for the time being. Or stone mine, I mean. We'd have to build, like, defenses around it. It's otherwise, like, if dudes spawn in the southwest, they could just walk up and kill our stone farmers. We don't have time for that yet. <laughs> They're all idling in this parking lot. It's fucking hilarious. Yeah, I need to stop giving people orders. They're never going to get the paper making done. This episode will never be complete. At this rate. We'll let in... 10 pigoids. Not 12. There we go. We're absolutely going to need more flat houses and stuff, too. Which is whatever. First we build a plate paper maker, and then we build the research building, and then we'll get some flat houses going. But right now, we've got too much on our plate to deal with that random stuff. We're going to need more clothing as well, because I imagine like people are going to start dying this winter if I'm not careful. Could build a hearth. Yeah, that would make sense. Can't build in this little nook, but right here should be pretty good. That might reduce the chance of people dying in the winter. And that's a small enough job where I feel just fine doing it. How's the training going? Oh, there's 73% trains. Oh, now he's using the bathroom. That's funny. They're going to absolutely tear ass once the next group of raiders comes. Our little bridge has been getting used pretty frequently, which is nice. I figured it would be. It's like a nice little shortcut. Which is nice. A slaver? No, thank you. We're lawful good in this settlement. Maybe chaotic good. We have a lot of pickoids. Kind of live a simple life so far. Woodcutters finally getting around to be being built, and it looks like we're building a surplus of wood as we speak. And the paper maker's going, and we're still doing. Oh, there's no storage for paper. There we go. Uh, I think we have a fabric deficit, which is not good as well. That's that's on the to-do list. Probably need a new city block. Let's see, I kind of wanted this to be a quiet city block, so I guess we'll build here. This is going to be a farming block. Oh, can we get this fucking vision overlay off? I don't need to see where they're doing. They're where they're walking. Okay. So if you're trying not to mess up the fertile grounds, then we're going to need this to be the dimensions of our little walk path. There we go. 
And then that means our little crafting. Actually, hold up. Does the, uh... With the paper, paper maker to get research, you need to go into infrastructure, knowledge, and then a library. Oh, it doesn't produce sound, which now that I think about it makes a lot of sense. Guess I'll build it right here. Probably want walls around the library as well. Could build it out of stone. I think that'd be pretty badass. Then we can get a couple of scribe stations. And I guess some shelves. Which means I need to expand downwards a little bit. Oh. oh. Come on. I just need one more. Ah, wait. Yes. <laughs> there we go. At 100% efficiency. We probably could have built carpet as well, but we have fabric deficit. As I said before. Now this library is going to be working. There's two other buildings for knowledge that I am aware of. There's the school, which requires children, which we do not have. And the university, which requires fancy stone, which we also do not have. Oh, look at that. There's a cool looking building. We'll get the fancy stone soon enough. That'll probably be in our next episode. For now, we just need to let the library get built. Got a little hearth going as well, which is nice. How much paper do we got? 22? Reasonable. Probably will fuel the library. Might even have a surplus. Now I just gotta wait for the stuff to get done. Odd jobbers ransacking the warehouses. Which is fine. You know, I'll let some more dwarves in. Uh oh, running the coal deficit. Can we squeeze in a little charcoal? Here? We have enough metal for it. Yeah, I will. Why not? It does mean that we're going to have to get even more wood. It's the balancing act of this game. If I remember correctly, the charcoalers, kilns, and shit are absolutely ginormous. So we might need like a little long building. A longer than wide one. Yeah, eight man operation. Maybe we can get another kiln going. Yeah, if we expand by two more can. There we go. The auxiliary kilns. Uh, there's not enough space for them. It's a little awkward. Guess we could expand. Let's have a slightly irregularly shaped building. So we're going to need storage too. Oh. oh, come on. Just a little more. There we go. The storage will be right here. We have the doors. This will be our ginormous charcoaler. We'll take 92 of our clay, but we're importing clay at a regular rate. Awesome. As you can see, the library 
has started up and we're getting knowledge points. We're going to let that cook for a while. Why do we have pigs working in the knowledge place? What the fuck? I don't know what this number means. Does this mean it's, uh... Oh, that's graveyards? I don't need any graveyards. I don't know what these numbers mean. Uh, maybe it's the percentage of the population or something? Well, whatever. Looks like it's Pigoids working here. I'll fiddle with that later. I need to just hit the buttons. See what they do. So that's gonna tell me what I need. Uh, the knowledge thing is gonna have to tick over for a while. There we go. Yeah, there's some humans that are just chilling here. They're all having fun in the library. There's a human scribe. He's filling up the book with knowledge. Once we hit like a hundred or so knowledge, which you can see right here. Then we'll be in the business of unlocking some technologies. That's a little bit of a no-go for us right now. Starting to get a furniture surplus as well. I think we've already got an export yeah, set up. It's probably where we're getting our money. The charcoal is waiting on another clay shipment. Should come any moment now. Hopefully. Maybe. It'll come. As the clay sellers have always come. Probably. Because it's another summer. We could probably harvest a little bit more cotton as well. Edibles. Get that rolling. Ah, oh, man, look at the harvest. This is some good wood. There we go. That's enough harvesting for now. Our soldiers at 100%. Yeah, they're at 100% training. That's absolutely fantastic. Probably could get a dwarf division too. I'm sure they they'd be pretty good soldiers. Ah, the charcoal is finally getting built. That'll solve our clay deficit, which will be nice. Yeah, there they go. One day we'll have enough knowledge. I guess I'll build more farms in the meantime. Um, this farm probably needs to be a little bit bigger. There we go. It's because I have no way of... Irrigating it. Boom. Oh, this is yucky. Hmm. It's not fertile near the walls is the problem. Could have some abomination farms going, I guess. Yeah, like three. Ooh. Oh, heat exposure. We let in too much, many dudes. They don't have clothing. Okay, that'll be a... That's a problem we need to solve now. I guess we've got time. We're waiting for the fucking... Knowledge mills to produce. Uh, it's probably humans that died of the heat exposure. If I had to guess. They're very sensitive to temperature. 
We're just going to need another weaver. And probably another textile clothier as well. Oh man, the Weaveries need so many auxiliary limbs. Okay, how about this? It's just these guys. Oh, what? That's a huge ass auxiliary limb. What the fuck? Okay, clearly that's not an efficient use of space. No, I guess it is. This is so fucking ass. What the hell? Guess we need to expand the building for even more auxiliary looms? This is so fucked up. Come on, give me the 2%. You... There we go. Alright. So that's our weavery. I will solve our. We need storage. Oh, fuck. We're going to need to expand this entire room because we need storage. <laughs> Damn it. And the auxiliary loom is deleted. That's amazing. Okay, well, there's space for it here. There we go. Boom. Loom created. Then we can have a tiny clothiers shop here. Textile tailor. It's gonna... It's gonna be a small one. It's a six-man operation. That sounds crazy. I kind of wanted to not butt into the territories over here, though, to follow the convention. I guess we can't have a central table, but we could have side tables. And the auxiliary stations could go in the center. No, because it's been a pain in the ass about it. Okay, you know what? This is already touching that area over there. So I can build the workbench like this, and the auxiliary stations can occupy this zone over here. There we go. 100% efficiency, 12 workers, reasonable enough. That should solve both of our problems. Of course, we're going to need more workers. For the workers, we need more food. So we can build more farms. As we already built these farms. God, putting that there is such, such an efficient use of time. Or, uh, space, I mean. Okay, hold on. I, I think I can still expand this vegetable farm. This is so disgusting, but... Gotta use every part of the buffalo.
Look, the pickoids like organic stuff. I don't think they care if their farms look disgusting. There we go. That's a four-man farm. This one canal will provide the irrigation for all of it. Which will be nice. I'll let more dwarves in. The dwarves will be working on the weavery and textile tailor. They like that kind of work. I'll show off the knowledge thing in a sec. Oh, you know what? We could put the farms here. Cool. Yeah, looks good to me. 100% fertility. And I may be needing a regular block just to kind of avoid sucking away too much of the fertile grounds. Do we have coal yet? Yeah, we do have coal. Oh, cool. Are you running low on stone? No. We just don't have enough dumb laborers. Alright, I'm letting in more humans. <gasps> oh, they're fucking going nuts. I should not have let in that many humans. Okay, they're building it back. I don't know what the hell happened to them. Oh, now nah, they're flashing green. There's just a hiccup. <laughs> they saw the... All the humans moving in. They thought the neighborhood was going bad or something. I don't know. That's spooky. Apparently we have a mega surplus of paper as well. So maybe... Oh, hold up. Do I control the employment rate here? Yeah, fuck it. I'll just juice that up then. Okay, that was kind of throttling our knowledge a little bit. That's fair enough. Apparently I have a little bit of spare clothes. They're probably going to be quickly claimed. Pretty sure. Yeah, not everybody has clothes. Sid Willingham. It's one dirty man. He has no clothes. He's just walking naked. A poor bastard. Clothes will come for him soon. Just need these buildings completed. That is so fantastic. Our wood's looking pretty sparse, but I think it's just because we built two ginormous wooden buildings. Which is what it is. Hopefully once this building stuff's done, we're not going to be forever cut on that. Might be prudent to chop down some trees real quick. Cut like a strip of it away. Which will give us the materials we need. Oh, we've got one odd jobber? 
Oh, because they're all employed at the textile tailor. It's all let in pigoids. Oh, we got a new level. What are we now? We're chieftain. Oh, that means we can build uh, courts and administrators. Sweet. That's nice. Pigmen are a little bit unsatisfied. I think at some point we're going to want to appoint one of them to be the uh, noble of farming. Because when you have a noble uh, do something, it gives it like a small boost. Which is cool. Apparently the weaver is done and it has 20 employees. So we're going to need to... I guess I'll let in about 20 humans to work on it. We could set, step up our clay imports as well. Start importing other things. We could import as many things we could import. We could probably start importing all the little gaps in our colony. Like booze? We could import booze. How, uh, how expensive is it to import booze? 30? Mm, that's not bad at all. Probably would be more efficient to make booze. In general, importing raw materials is just better than importing other stuff. We've got enough knowledge. So, here's the knowledge tree. At least in the demo. I don't know how big it gets in the actual main game. So, as you can see, uh, there's a lot of stuff, but it really boils down to like a couple categories. There's farming, and these are all just passive boosts that increase the yield you get from the crops. Then there's weaponsmithing, which unlocks the ability to build uh, weapons and armor. And then as you research that more, you get better at it. There's services zero, which unlocks bathhouse. Our subjects are already pretty happy, so we don't need to do that. And then there's the tool smithing as well. Apparently for the weaponsmithing, we're going to need 300. We're going to need like 500 points total. Ah, oh, it's going to be a little while. <laughs> we might be just stuck importing weapons. For the time being. I mean, uh, I'm going to build a bunch of import depo depots. So we can get that rolling. I build a one thick now. Might be able to build another export depot down here. Kind of goes into the road a little bit. I'll put that somewhere else. This will be the big old import yard. It's next to our ginormous warehouse. Which is fine. Ideal placement. Oh, fuck. We're maxed out on ore. That's a really, really good problem to have, actually. Guess I'll raise the storage capacity for now. We're also doing well on coal. We might need a export zone so we can start bleeding off our little excess materials. Which is fine. Clothing's still a problem for us. Maybe we need another clothes shop. I don't know the ratios that you're supposed to have of weaver employees, textile tailor employees. 
it kind of looks like we're still just barely like producing a net positive amount of fabrics. Well, whatever the case, uh, we got the basics of our knowledge manufacturing done. Uh, in theory, we probably could slash should produce more libraries. In fact, I'm really tempted to just put one down right now since we seem to be producing a surplus of wood. Yeah, I will. Why not? Uh, this building should probably be wood. We've got no stone. It's so weird. The shelves increase the efficiency, not the storage capacity. Which one would think would be kind of like the opposite situation. There we go. Another tiny library for us. I think I'll call it here. We've expanded our... Well, our wood operations and our knowledge operations. Start a new industry with the knowledge, which is nice. Expanded our farms as we tend to do continuously forever. Be a thorn in our side until the day our colony is taken over by raiders. They're really producing a good amount. Oh, we're maxing out on leather too. Our village is becoming a very, very small town. I think it's still technically a village until we have like a thousand people in it or some shit. Things are looking great. We're educating ourselves and soon we will no longer have to buy weapons. We've got libraries now and we figured out or we've looked into the knowledge system. Things are looking good. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you next time for more Songs of Six. Goodbye!